and that chimney is the house next door. That chimney is two houses away. The house in my backyard. Another house in my backyard. And that tree is on the other street. Got another life of through night in the mail, guys. This one here is the Archer 2A V2. They always come in a nice little package like this, either a metal container or a nice cardboard box. Um, padded envelope gets shipped in. You can see it's set up real nice and you know, styrofoam and everything, lights and plastic. Sweet little setup. Send you a lanyard with this one. A couple extra O wings and a replacement piece for the, the tail cap switch when you wear it out. Let's see what this one has for settings and power. The cool little lights, they come in white light. It's really nice. This is an upgraded version of the Archer 2A with a more user-friendly and updated uh, LED. So this has the Cree XP LV6 LED with a lifespan of 20 plus years. Uh, it has Firefly at 0 0.055 lumens, 672 hours off of two AA batteries, guys. 500, or I'm sorry, 672 hours. Uh, having a hard time reading this because I didn't grab my reading glasses. So anyway, low is 17 lumens at 96 hours. Medium is 75 lumens at 11 hours, and high is 450 lumens. And get this, 100 minutes for that one. So it'll burn it up quick on that one, but still. Um, that's good. You know, you get over an hour's worth of use off of those two batteries if you're using them big time high. 140 minutes, it'll last if you're using the strobe. So you get 140 minutes on strobe. Um, I don't know why they put it like that. You know, two hours and 20 minutes or whatever. But anyway, so your max run time, of course, is the 672 hours on the Firefly mode. And that's that real low mode that's good for up close. It works great. Max beam distance is 130 meters. So, I mean, that's pretty good. That's just this little double-A flashlight here with a clip on it, as you can see. Pocket clip. It's pretty sweet. I already stoked this sucker up with a battery. You get a switch on the back, turn it on, and then up on the front, you have your push-button switch to change modes. And this one's your Firefly. So you can just see it on my hand. And it goes up from there. And then, of course, bam, you get that strobe. Wow. They're pretty cool lights, guys. I like this one. I get them, and then I'm tempted to give them to somebody as a gift or something like that. But I fall in love with every single light, and I want to keep them. But that's a nice little light. Lightweight. Should have the weight in here, too, somewhere. Peak beam intensity is... 4232 CD. I'm not sure what that means. Just giving you guys the information. Impact resistance 2 meters. In other words, take it, throw it over your shoulder, down on the floor. It'll keep working. See? Boom. No problem. Just drop it. And I hate tearing up a new light, but they work good, guys. Let's just pitch it up in the air. Hard hit. Hard hit, guys. Boom. So do all the modes still work? I'm sure it does. Because they are tough. Good lights. So impact resistance, water resistant, all that stuff. I like these lights. It'd be cool if you get them in red and everything, but once again, I have my hunting lights. I'm not looking for hunting lights. These are just handheld lights. Good for working around, whatever, on stand. So, with different setups. I love them. Yeah, so these are good, tough little flashlights, guys. Once again, you know, I got my hunting lights, and I like red for hunting lights, and these are white, but uh, they're definitely good little lights, and bright, oh, they're bright. So, I guess you get that strobe at just about every setting. Yeah, that's pretty cool.
I didn't realize that. So you get that strobe on every light switch. Um, these are great, like I said, great little white light handheld lights. But uh, it's just, you know, you don't use your white light for hunting. So this thing's pretty cool. You come with a pocket clip and the O-rings and all that. But uh, I'll take it outside in a little bit, and I'll show you guys how it works out outside. You see the impact test and opening up and all that. But um, not a bad light either. Not expensive as far as that goes, I should say, as far as bad light. It's not expensive at all. It's 40 bucks, 39 95 So pretty affordable. But uh, I'll see you all a little bit later outside, and we'll see how it works in the flesh or aluminum whichever you care to call it because it's a nice aircraft grade aluminum casing here they make them well through night lights hey right, y'all let's take a look at this light this is the Archer 2A V2 and this is your low setting That's pretty good. This is set number two. You can see the house next door. Fence line. So that's not too bad. Set number three. Starting to light things up. Pretty damn good. There's a chimney of the house next door and two houses away. There's the bright. Guys, it's 450 lumens. That's bright. Wind blowing real hard out here. And that's that tree across the road, so that's not too bad. Good light if you ask me, y'all. Good light. And there's your strobe. Appreciate y'all watching.